Jenna, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, so I have a bit of an interesting question. All right, uh, what's on your mind? Might, <laughs> so this one might be a little contentious, but I really want your opinion on this. All right. Um, so I've been, I've been putting together, like I've been talking with some of my girlfriends. Uh, some of them are older; they're in their forties. Some of them are younger, so they're in their like mid twenties. And what I'm noticing is more and more. Um, they're just turning away from even getting into relationships. They're mm. not interested in dating. They're not even interested. Some of them are actually not even interested in men anymore. So they're kind of going the other way. Mm. Um, some of them are just kind of going, you know what? I just, I can't be bothered with this. I just want to travel and I'll get a dog. Mm. So, and then when I started looking at some of the content that was online, I started kind of noticing that the conversations were more, not that you do it, but more about either bashing women or, mm. or uh, criticizing women or talking about how fat women are, which I do believe is a problem. Mm. Um, but there wasn't a lot of talk about romance. There wasn't a lot of talk about how to be an interesting person, how to be sexually seductive to a woman, how to be appealing to a woman, how to, mm. how to actually have relationships. And when I tried talking to a guy friend of mine who said he wanted to he wanted to get better at having relationships with women, and I tried to give him some pointers, mm -hmm. said men don't need advice from women about women. Okay. So, so what my question is, if if men don't need advice from women about how to deal with women and what women like and what actually turns women on, and they can only get that advice from men. And women can only get advice on men from other men because advice from other women is not valid. Where exactly are women in the conversation when it comes to heterosexual relationships between men and women? <laughs> you've said a lot of things and you've asked quite a, quite a few questions in that, in that statement. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, um, so let's start with this. So why are your friends not wanting to date guys? You said they're somewhere in their 20s and early 30s? Some is go as late as into their mid 40s. And they're okay. all with the exception of one or two that are kind of the blue haired, you know, yeah. fat, you know, whatever people. Um, they are smoke shows because we all kind of have the same lifestyle, Pilates, exercising, boxing. Mm -hmm. We're all very, we're very much, we like our looks, right? So are they we, career women or? Like well, boss girls, they're not really boss girls. They they're boss. Here's the thing, they're boss girls because they have to be. They're boss girls because the men aren't stepping up to the challenge. So, for example, um, see, okay, so let me just stop you for a sec. So you're saying men aren't stepping up to the challenge in one breath, but in a prior breath, you're also saying that, um, you know, these guys aren't romantic or they don't know how to, you know, like romance women, you know, sort of thing. And it's like. You know, I have a problem with that because guys that subscribe to like the soulmate myth and like the whole Lance romance stuff, like I'll tell you, like when I went out on my first uh, date with my first girlfriend, I can't remember if somebody told me this or I saw it in some stupid magazine that somebody handed me, but it was like at the start of the date, you got to give her this color flower. And at the end of the date, you got to give her no. this flower and it means this, that and the other thing. And We've all tried that stuff. Well, not we've all, but I'm just kind of, you know, speaking for myself. But the guys that are in my tribe, the guys that get it, the guys that have like plentiful access and are the mate selectors when it comes to dating, they get it and they know that stuff doesn't work. And they know that the stuff that I talk about does work. And it's not like we're not like we're ice cold or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, if you were to ask my chick, she would say none of those things. But it's, it's just having a solid leadership frame. And the problem that a lot of women have today, these women that are like, you know, they have to be boss girls in their career to do what they're doing and they don't want to deal with men, is that they're not able or willing to enter a man's frame and comply. That, right? um, may I just, uh, I, I do disagree with that. Um, we all kind of have very traditional values. And when I say we, we all just kind of work because we have to, it's just because, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're, we're girls. We like certain kinds of shoes. We like eating at certain restaurants. So you have Got to yeah. work to maintain that. Mm -hmm. um, just a personal standard. Um, what we're finding is a lot of the guys, like even when you go on dates with these guys, and a lot of the guys are coming from the internet, they mm -hmm. can't 
form sentences. They can't have basic conversation. A lot of them don't read. A lot of them have no interest, no hobbies, don't go to the gym. If they do go to the gym, that's right. literally all they do. So and why are they going out with them then? Well, it's They're what basically it, going out with losers. Well, that's the thing. Like, it gets to the point where um, you don't really realize that you, these people are like that until you kind of go on the first date or even after the first conversation, you're like, mm -hmm. okay, there might be something here. But what we're, what is happening more and more is that there seems to be this kind of contentiousness when it comes to pleasing and satisfying the other person. As, and I'm seeing it more on the men's side. Men seem to think that every single woman is out to get them. If you're pretty, then you obviously don't have any money. You are trying to take advantage of him, so you don't have anything of your own. What, what uh, city do you and your friends live in? Uh, we're in your city. Oh, Toronto. Well, Toronto's a big-ass city, and there's a lot of weird-ass people in there, I'll be honest with you. You know, I did a lot of dating down there. <laughs> um, look, the like here's what I'm seeing a lot of, right? You know, mm -hmm. from the guy's perspective and Moff just hit on it in the chat. You can blame feminism for pretty much all of that is that women have been told to go and chase the degree. They don't need no man go and go and work. And then they hear all these songs about being a hashtag boss girl and bad bitch and all that kind of stuff. And like, let's be honest, Jenna, like, you know, you get together with them and they're like, yeah, I want bad bitch and then all sort of thing. And it's like, we don't need no man. So it's like, okay, well, when you start from that position, then, like even I, with the game that I have, dealing with a, a chick like that on a date, if I were to tell her, you know, something like, I don't know, like I'll meet you at eight o'clock at this place. And she's like, oh, well that's too far. Or I'm not gonna go there or why not on this date? And then she starts giving me a hard time. I have zero patience for any of that. It's like, no, that's, that's what we've, uh, that's what we're doing. And you're gonna be there. And when you show up, you're gonna wear that black dress that I told you to from that picture. Right. And I want you to wiggle a little bit when you walk in too. Right. So you kind of play with them a little bit, you know, you kind of tease them a little bit, but you make sure that they're following your lead. And what you'll find with a lot of these women or guys find, you know, guys like me anyway, mm -hmm. is they'll find that they don't want to comply. You know, they, they want a strong masculine dude. And you called in months ago and we were talking about Yellowstone, like the Casey's and the rips, right? Like, yeah. like you and your girlfriends probably watch a show and you probably drool over Casey and rip, right? <laughs> Right? Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so when a guy like Rip shows up and it's like, this is what we're doing and -da -da -da, it's going to happen on this date and we're going to do it on this and it's like that -da -da sort of thing. They don't even want to comply with that. So they say that they want that, but they won't work with it. That, right? I do, I do disagree because I have nah. actually dated, I have actually dated men like Rip. The only reason that the relationship didn't work out is just because of distance. We ended up moving apart. But, Men like that, when you are... I done... see the women that you're talking about, Jenna, though. Like, I, like I've like i dated them. I, I see them when I go out. And and these chicks are like, you know, they think that they're the bomb. They're 30s, 40s, whatever. They work out. They do yoga, Pilates, exactly like, you know, you described, right? And th they're jacked. They got shoulders and abs and all this sort of stuff. But do they know how to cook? Do they know how to, like, please a guy? Do they know how to be pleasant and yes. agreeable? yes. The, this is it. This isn't just about in all in all. Honesty, then the problem is, is that they're they're picking losers is what it boils down to. OK, I mean, if they're hanging out with guys that don't know how to conversation or haven't read a book in like 10 years or something like that, then they're picking losers. Right. Like don't date losers. You know, it's as simple mm -hmm. as that. Oh, I well, I want to date the good looking guy then. But, you know, he's going to cheat on me. Oh, well. What are you going to do? You know, a guy with options might happen to have a couple of plates spinning right now, too. And then are you guys OK with the women having options as well? Absolutely not. OK. It, what's what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. If if she's going to date me and then she's like, hey, Rich, where do we stand? I really dig your vibe, blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. Cool. But we're not going to poison the well. You need to be exclusive. Hmm. Whether I choose to be exclusive to her or not is entirely up to me at that time. Monogamy is a choice for men mm -hmm. and it cannot be enforced on him. Right. So in some cases, some of these, you know, bad bitches that are all like, oh, you can't just find a guy and I'm just going to switch over to the side and deal with girls or get a dog or whatever, you know, like that's their solution. Then look, guys that are that are that are high value, that are top shelf, that are willing to be monogamous, that that, that choose it, you know, with a good girl, you better treat him like a god. I'm telling you right now, because guys like that are rare. 
That's it's oh my gosh. I, I honestly wish that I could have this conversation a little longer. I know I have to go, but it's the rea- the reality that I'm I'll, seeing I'll, is very, very different. Okay. I'll tell you what. Send me an email and let's set up a unplugged alpha show where you and your girlfriends hop on with me. Mm-hmm. And I'll give you guys that time. All right. I wonder if Bethany would be up for that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Great. Let's do it. All right. Thanks okay. a lot. Talk to you. Hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.